Okay guys, so enable attachment will allow your feature class to store attachment related to your features. So the way to enable attachment is by right click on the feature class and say manage, create attachments. And as you see here, when we created attachments, there's two items been created automatically. The first item is a geodatabase table that have the same name as my feature class underscore attach. And this one will store the attachment information. And if I right click here and I say the properties to see what kind of fields inside this table, you will see that you have global ID for each one of them. And this is automatically generated. And don't try to change anything in this table, even the name. Don't try to change anything. Just keep everything the same. And here you will see the data saved as blob type. And blob type is the one that can save documents or attachments or pictures. And here I will just cancel. And the, the second item is a relationship class that can connect these two features together. So the relationship class, if I open the relationship class and I say properties, I will see that it's connecting one to many, which means one feature will be connected to many attachments. And the rule will show you which tables connected to each other. Here's the intersections feature class connected to the intersection attachment table. So this is a relationship class that have been automatically created to connect the attachment table to the feature class. So every time we create a new feature, we can upload an attachment and it will be saved to our intersections attachment table. So let's see how that will work in ArcMap. So let's open our MXD again. And before we add any features, let's change the symbology for this one to make it look like that. 18. Okay so we can see it better on the map so now let's enable editing session and add a new feature right here when you open the attributes you will see that here you have an attachment tab opened for you that you can click on it and say open attachment manager and you can attach anything you want you can attach folders you can attach pictures so here in the course data folder i have a folder called attachment when you open it you will see some pictures and you will see pictures for the intersection type. So let's say for example, this intersection I just entered right here is a type of four way intersection. So I'm gonna attach this image and I will also attach this image right here. Let's say this is the real image for this intersection. And when I add them, they will be added to this feature. And let's also change the type to be four way because we know it's a four way. Now let's save our edits and let's clear the selection. So right now, every time you do identify on this exact feature, you will be able to see the information. Plus you will see here a tab, say attachment, and you have two attachments. And when you click on the drop down, you can open any image and it will open for you to see what is the image. And you can open the second one to see it from here. So that's it for the attachment. Now you know how can you enable attachment to add images and attachment or any documents to your features. And this is a really good, especially if you are going to use it for uh, collecting data in the field, it's easier for the users in the field to use collector app. And when they enter any new features, they just take a picture and upload it. But you have to enable attachment for your feature class before we actually be able to do that. So here right now we have only three intersections. We will save our edits and we will stop the editing and we will use ArcGIS collector app on our iPhone to enter the other intersections for this area. But before we do that in the next video, we have to upload and share or publish this feature class to uh, ArcGIS online organization account in order for us to create a web map and use it in ArcGIS collector. So we'll see you in the next video where we will publish this data to ArcGIS online and create a web map to use it in ArcGIS collector. Thank you.